Now I'm going to show you how to use the optional photo enlarger accessory to enlarge photographs. If you got that option, watch this video. I'm going to show you how to use it. If you didn't, maybe watch this video anyways and see if this is a tool that maybe you would like to have. So you take, you have a photograph, whichever photograph you want. Obviously you can turn your paper um, to orientate the same as your paper's landscape. Turn my paper landscape like so. Open the bag. So in here, um, you're gonna find all the pieces you're gonna need. You attach this, uh, these two rods. You go ahead and screw those together to make one longer rod. Hold on to that thumb um, nut. You got the lens and you got the little platform that holds the photo. Take this little plastic platform and remove the paper off of both sides. The same with the filter, just get it started, peel it off. All right, so you take this, set that aside, take the, the top filter mount here is where you're going to attach it. Go ahead and remove the uh, the thumb screw from here and set that aside. You'll need that in a moment. Take your lens here and take this rod that you made by attaching the two smaller rods and take the shaft end of it there and place it through the hole. Then put it back into the filter mount where you just removed the thumb screw. Then take your little platform piece you have here. Face the uh, logo out. Put the thumb screw through there and screw that in the opposite end. So look down through the view hole here and then put your photograph here where you have a piece of tape on the top that I already placed here. Um, some sort of masking tape or any sort of whatever you have, something, anything you can stick something to a surface temporarily with will work just fine. Look through the view hole and you can see your photo there. And depending on, in this instance here, um, I hold the photo here. The photo like goes from like here to here to here. It's way bigger than this little pad of paper I have here, which um, if I was trying to, you know, you can, you can either adjust the image of uh, just the height up and down to make the image smaller and larger, which I'll show you in a minute. But for just for the, for the sake of what we're doing, I'm just going to be drawing just the center piece of the photo, me cropping it this way. Whatever it is you're doing, just look through here and move the photo up and down and back and forth until you have the part that you want or the whole thing centered onto your drawing surface, your canvas, your paper. And most generally, it's just going to kind of be hanging about right on the end of it. It's not going to be all the way up here. Usually it's going to be kind of hanging on the end of it right, right here. And right here I see the photograph here where I want it. Again, you can kind of turn this back and forth and rock it around until you you, it looks right. You look at the image here and the photograph, you want to make sure there's light being cast on the photograph. If your light is coming from like this angle right here and it's kind of like casting a shadow onto the photograph, that's going to make it difficult because you want light on the, su on the subject, which in this case is a photograph and on your drawing surface. So make sure you have light cast onto your photograph. If, if the light's coming from a different angle, maybe make sure you have some light coming from a window or, um, or you know, a, a lamp or something coming over your shoulder and onto the photograph to make sure you have some light on the photograph to start with. And right now I have the lighter filter in. And typically, w using the photo enlarger like this, you're gonna want either one or the other um, filters in there because the image needs to be made a little brighter. So if the image needs to be brighter still, you can add the uh, darker filter and just adjust the lighting like you would with, with a live subject, but then with the photograph. And so once you have the photograph on there, you have it where you want it, make sure one of the advantages of using the Lucy is that you can see your composition laid out and ex exactly everything's cropped and in, in, in there before you start drawing. So make sure it's where you want it. Then just draw the photograph the same way that you would draw the live object, where you mark a few key places to use as reference if you want to, if you move or if you want to take a break. And before you start drawing, line yourself back up with those, those uh, marks again and just continue to draw until you have a good sketch of the photograph. Then set the Lucy aside and finish your shading, your painting, and everything without the Lucy.